Hey guys, what's going on today? This is your boy, Dalsu. We're playing Factorio, man. I cannot get enough of this game. I'm obsessed with it. It haunts my dreams. You know, all that kind of good stuff. So we decided that we were going to make a new area up here because we can't seem to get ourselves satiated when it comes to iron. So rather than just like staying down there where it's all chaotic and, and jumbled and, and spaghetti-like, I'm going to come down here and start a new area, and I am going to uh, focus on making this area kind of, not perfect, but like, very, you know, I'm, I'm going to engineer it a bit. Um, try to make it somewhat efficient and uh, something something that I can be proud of. Because this is just uh, me trying to survive, but once once I've once I've gotten to the point where I'm surviving, and I can, I can actually start to have nice things for myself, so that's what I'm going to try to work on here, I think. And we're just letting them give us a bunch of stone because we're trying to pave it first. You don't have to worry about biters attacking your paving, I don't think. I wouldn't put it past them, though. Going fucks. A little bit of stone right there. I don't think it's worth even mining, though. So small. Should be getting the robots to do this for me, but I don't know. It's working out fine this way. We'd like some stone wall. It's 50 might be enough, but I doubt it. Anyway, let's finish our paving, get a little bit more uh, stone. It's good to just focus on one thing at a time, as hard as that is to do in this game. Sometimes it's good to just, yeah. We, sh we could also just connect a robo port up here, but I'm a little bit scared of getting attacked before I've got everything set up. What we could do is just have a temporary uh, robo port with a couple. Um, Couple uh, turrets, laser turrets. I can't talk today. I, think I had too much wine last night. <laughs> a couple turrets, you know, flanking it, so that um, just so we can get things delivered without constantly down there. Okay, let's try that. Yeah, this will be just a little temporary thing while we uh, while we get some paving done. Oh, it's not it's not close enough, is it? Okay. How about how about this? There we go. Alright, so now they're going to be able to bring me stone up here, so I won't have to walk back every time. And that's just temporary. I'm probably going to relocate that and make it all pretty. could also just get the damn construction robots to do this, which is what a smart person would probably do. Let's do that. Don't use the blueprints enough. I've determined I need to use Here's a blueprint. And I don't need this blueprint anymore. Um, so if I just say, like, do exactly like this, then I can just tell them to do all that, right? And they should come and do it. Hopefully, if we have enough stone, they're already getting started. Thank you, construction robots. And we could also do the same thing with walls if we wanted to. Although I don't think, yeah, let's just do walls ourselves. We don't even have walls in the system, right? I should probably uh, be a little bit more ambitious than this for size. Now they're not going to bring me any stone because they're fine. Fair enough. Do it then, if you're going to do it. They seem to be Prioritizing me somewhat, which I guess is should be doing. But yeah, I thought 50 stone was gonna be enough for a wall. I'm crazy. Obviously, that's not gonna be even close to enough. What do you say about like that? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Trying to make it somewhat symmetric, symmetrical, or at least look kind of nice. Nobody's perfect, though. Well, that didn't work out. 
How about a few more power poles? And get this going. I hate how hard it is to make things pretty. <laughs> That looks okay, right? Now all we gotta do is just connect it. Why don't we just do it this way so that there's a continuous footprint of power. That sounds good. And more poles for me, please. You guys are super slow. Just don't have enough construction robots, do we? Actually, we don't have enough logistics robots either. That's scary. Uh, let's do a few of each. I also have my personal robo-port that I forgot about. That was dumb. Now I have my own robo-port. It doesn't seem to have enough power, though. I'm not really sure how all this, how all this works. Maybe we just don't have enough. I know you can get batteries too. Hey, the robots look like they're actually almost finished. So now I've got robots following me around everywhere, which is kind of cool. I had wanted to start building some walls. That. We need more logistics robots. Probably could use a few more construction robots, but we'll let it be for now. Yeah, we need more logistics more than anything. Okay, let's continue our wall construction. Why did you not bring me stone? Oh, I probably have a full... Yeah, I'm probably full. Alright, so I don't understand how this robot works. I guess they just follow me around looking or looking at me. They're actually construction robots, right? So if I wanted to I don't really know how they work. I might have to look it up. I guess I could have them like put stuff all around me if it was in my if it was in my logistical system, right? This is probably not as much space as I would like for this base, but I think for right now, smaller and tighter might be a little bit better. Try to make it look somewhat symmetrical. I hate how there's no light upgrade, even after you get super te technologically advanced, you're still, still using the same lights. And again, it's so hard to make it symmetrical and pretty. I guess you shouldn't really worry about pretty any after all, you know. Okay. So we got this little area walled off. We've got some defense. Um, could add a little more if we wanted to. Let's let's put one in each corner. Make some poles to power that up. Okay, this guy's. So I guess what my formula should be. I should have like a formula for this. Four, um, four mines for six smelters, or I don't know. I don't. Let's ex let's experiment with it a little bit and see uh, kind of how it goes. Just need mines and electrical furnaces, so I'll go ahead and build some of that business. I probably should have been building it earlier, but it would also be nice to kind of design an area for uh, solar panels and accumulators over here. That would be really cool. Probably stand, put this robo port inside now. If it if it will reach, not one hundred percent sure it will. See, that was that was a fuck up on my part. <laughs> no worries. What we'll probably end up doing is just connecting this uh, area to our base. That's probably the wise choice.
Okay, yeah, let's let's wall it off, and we'll we'll use this area for something too. That'll be that'll be a good idea. I think. Okay, this is a good use for the deconstruct. It's like tell them to take the walls and the gate. You don't have to do it. And also, you can then use a blueprint, right? To have them put walls elsewhere because they now have it in their system. Oh shit, what's going on? Something got destroyed. This must be like an epic attack over here, huh? Finish now? Something got blowed up though. Well, seems to be all right now. We do not have enough logistics robots. That is crazy. Oh my god, we only have one construction robot. What the hell? That freaking sucks, man. They got all of our construction robots. Okay. Huh. That really sucks. <laughs> okay, well, we'll re we will rebuild them. Yeah. Take a while. I don't. Why aren't they bringing me chips? Bring me more chips. These guys are getting cocky over here, or aren't they? Where are they coming from? Are they coming from this base? Little tiny little bases over here. Where are they coming from? Probably over here. Anyway, back to what we were doing. Not get distracted too much. Construction robots, fix everything. Don't get killed this time. I was saying you can use a blueprint like this. And boom, create blueprint, and then you just got it like save yourself. Oops, don't do like that. I didn't mean to do that. Too fast, huh? So if you make a mistake, you gotta go back and deconstruct it, I guess. That ought to work out. Okay, cool. Now, um, I also have this handy dandy blueprint so that they can pick all the paving tiles here. Save me some trouble. Ah! I guess you just right click and then it gets rid of your mistakes. If only life were so simple. Try not to mess it up too bad here. Alright, cool. So they'll get to work on that. And having an extra 39 certainly won't hurt. Notice we're running low on logistics robots these days, so... Probably need to pick a new tech. Let's, um... Portable Fusion would be good. Cargo size would be good. Damn it, I need to try one of these things, one of these basic beacons. I never use those. Supposedly, they, they work pretty dang, dang well. They make modules function better, as far as I know. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna do this. Maybe four mines for each smelter. No, two mines per smelter. Let's try that and see how it works out. So we're going to be running a few experiments here to see kind of what the best configuration is. What are all these flashing with saying they just don't have enough stone? Is that what the, is that what's going on? It's apparently what's going on is they don't have enough stone. Okay, uh, fine. Do what you can do. What you can do. So 
I would think that this would probably be enough. I'm going to build another robo port. Be in my inventory. Uh, another robo port for up here. Power poles here. And you're going to be putting it into a box, a uh, passive provider chest. I should probably make a few of those. I'm going to be using them a lot. Not enough ingredients is in not enough steel. I don't know if we're having problems with uh, the logistics network or whatever, but I know we're having problems with uh, stone, obviously. And we do not seem to have enough available logistics. Ah, well. Okay, put your stuff in there. No, it's not going to be picked up just yet. But will be as soon as we slap this guy down. Put him put him here in the corner. Yeah, that seems like a pretty good plan. Now we're covered. We're gonna get more iron in our system, hopefully. And let's see what else. Stone is a yeah, we're out of stone. Let's just face it. Um Like coal is not as healthy as it was. I might just be imagining that, but it does seem to be the case. What else? What am, what else am I looking for? Um, I think we just really want to focus on getting getting the iron into our system. That seems like the thing that's holding us back the most. I'm gonna speed you up. Actually, research speed module too. It might be nice. Yeah, we're gonna want to keep keep adding logistic robots. I think make sure we don't actually run out. And also, we should probably go ahead and just say cargo size three. Let's try it. So it looks like two two mines is a little bit too much for just one guy to handle. Let's try let's try double smelter. See how that works out. It'd be great if the robots would do this for us. So let's try this. Let's put all these guys in there. Let's put mines in there. Let's put um I think we already have plenty of fast inserters, but we'll put some in there and we'll put a couple passive provider chests. And they should handle everything, right? That's that's the whole that's the whole idea that I can't seem to make work. But we'll give it a shot. Take these chests away. Put them in the system. All right, we got a fresh blueprint here, so we want it to be just like this with a power pole. No, no power pole. Okay. Uh, it should just be like, boom, automatic. Big attack. Seems like. I have to turn on the power myself. And there we go. So oh, they actually did it this time, which is super nice. Let's give them a few more while we're at it. Let's give them two more electric furnaces and five more arms and two more passive provider chests so that they can really do it for us. So two mines and two smelters seems to be okay. It might just be one mine per smelter. I've been making it needlessly complicated. Although it looks like they might actually run out. Well, what if we speed up these guys too? With some speed modules. That might help. Still not enough iron, huh? Where does it all go, man? Where does it all go? 
Copper is so fucking healthy. But iron is not. I think we could almost do another mine. Problem is I gave all my mines to the robots. <laughs> and I don't want to make a blueprint because it's going to be different each one, so... How are we doing on power? We gotta be getting kinda low by this point, I would think. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're gonna need to uh, invest in some power facilities, probably down here. I really like to get uh, accumulator manufacturing going myself. I probably need to just find out where is all the steel going, you know? Where is it all going? I know that there's some going to over here to make repair packs, for example. Right? No. No, actually. Okay, um... Where does it all go, then? Just not really sure. Let's just keep making more of it. That's basically what we're going to have to do here. Keep making more and more of it until our needs are met. Because you can't get anywhere without iron. I mean, you need it for everything. So I think our safest bet is just to keep working on it. But we don't want to run out of power. So let's stop for a second. Build ourselves 12 accumulators and a couple substations. And that's going to take just a minute. I'll kind of look at this while I'm doing that. And, uh... Seems to be like a good match. Alright, so we can have another mine facing this way. And another belt going this way. And then... Take our blueprint, put it like so. It's actually kind of cool. Like, I don't want one long belt that gets overcrowded with uh, ore and then ends up being too stuffed full of ore that it can't even be efficient, if that makes any sense. I don't know if that made sense the way I just said it, but... It makes, it makes perfect sense in my head, is all you gotta know. Come on, you can't cover both of them at the same time. There we go. Alright, so we could pro we would probably put another ore mine here. Although, if I just sped, sped it up a little bit. Speed you up, too. I should keep him busy, I would think. More or less. How are we doing now? No no change, huh? <laughs> Alright, well, we'll keep going with it. I guess this whole area will be a uh, solar panel field. Okay, we'll put formers like so. I don't know. Solar panels seem like they're a pretty good idea. They're not as efficient as the other stuff, but they're... I feel like they're more dependable somehow. Okay, so we'll put uh, 10 accumulators along along here. How's that? That's pretty cool. Are they going to fill up? Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> maybe they won't fill up. Doesn't look like they have plans to fill up. More solar panels then? How 
How about now? Still no, huh? 36.4. Now what? Thirty-six point six. These things don't do dick, man. We need real power. All right, we'll do. We'll do another. Well, we'll at least see if we can maybe figure something else out. Do we have a coal problem by any chance? Could that be what's? Yeah, that's that's what's going on here. Is we have a coal problem. Okay, it's caused because we just don't have enough coal. Shit, that is a huge problem. Why? Some of these guys got attacked, I, I guess. But I thought we were okay. Mm -hmm. Well, there are more coal deposits out here, so might as well. We can power them with solar power. That's a good idea. Maybe. No. <laughs> Probably not. We should just connect it. Alright, let's just connect it. Alright, we'll power everything up here. Let's tie it into that line. A couple mines going before can fit comfortably. We can also grab that if we have to, but we do not want to run out of power. That is going to suck. Power spike there every time we use these. Those electric furnaces, man, they use so much. So the, so the drills. Okay, we've got some mines. Let's hook it up. And we'll do it this way. And I guess we can get two more. Of course, that's what's using all the damn power anyway. Okie dokie. I think I will put a little turret here, just in case. A little cheeky turret. And... We'll have more coal, hopefully. And that's probably going to go ahead and end our episode. Thanks, guys, for watching. Hopefully we can... Um, avert any kind of power crisis. Might as well repair that. But things are going pretty well. Um, we're working our way up to rockets. I know it's I play slowly. It takes a long time. I get, I get easily uh, sidetracked by all the stuff that goes on. But I hope you guys will keep watching. Like and subscribe. We just lost something over there, so I'm going to go deal with it off camera. And I'll see you next time.